if dharma is done in accordance with all the rules and regulations not padayet yadi ratim at the end of it if it does not help you develop love at the feet of the lord then shram eva hi kevalam tulsidas ji says yoga ku yoga gyan agyanu jah nahi ram prem par dhanu the essence is to develop love for god without that love yoga is not yoga it is ku yoga gyan is not gyan it is agyan now another leela shri krishna had to settle another mukadma another case that developed a few months later there was a tradition in braj the braj vasis being of an agrarian society they used to be dependent upon rain and they used to worship indra the god of rain these celestial gods they have their portfolios like now in usa you've got a secretary of finance secretary of industries in india you've got the industries minister the finance minister so god has got agni who takes care of fire vayu who takes care of the wind and indra who takes care of the rain So they used to worship Indra even today if you go to Kathmandu one day in the year they worship Indra Now Krishna found that people are making preparations for the puja of Indra He asked Nand and Yashoda what is the matter Nand said beta we worship Indra once in a year because he gives rain Krishna thought this is not right because in future i am going to before the mahabharat speak the bhagavad gita to arjun and in that bhagavad gita i'll give the principle of bhakti ananya chintayanto mam ananya cheta satatam you should only worship god but people will misunderstand they'll say no 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 i will worship this i will worship that so krishna said you know in my avatar kal if people are going to start worshiping indra then in future people will question what gita gyan did you give of ananya bhakti only worship god when your brajbasis are worshiping indra krishna thought i need to resolve this problem So first of all he got the little children on his side. You see when you have to bring about a social revolution you need some support. So he said look we play we go to Govardhan we play there our cows they feed on the grass etc growing there so our aradhya is Govardhan it is a form of Vishnu himself. Actually Vishnu had descended in the form of govardhan to enhance the bliss of krishna's past times so it is said that vishnu is govardhan himself so krishna once he got the sakhas on his side then he called the general assembly of the brajvasis and there he explained to them that look this is not good we don't need to worship any indra of indra See there was once one Sufi saint called Farid He went to Badshah Akbar he needed something for his ashram So he went to Badshah Akbar When he reached Akbar was in the other room saying the namaz etc Farid was waiting And Akbar was continuing Oh Allah please give me this oh Allah please give me that 
So Farid thought, why is he taking so long? He went and peeped and came back. So after Akbar finished his beseeching, he came and he said, Oh great sage, I am blessed that a fakir of your caliber has come to my palace. Thank you so much. Is there anything I can do for you? Farid said, there is nothing. No, 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 please, there must be something. What is it that I can give to you? Farid said, I had come to request you for something. But now I see that you yourself are a beggar. You are begging from Allah, so why should I beg from you? Why not beg from Allah directly? So these devatas, Indra and all, whatever they give is by the power of God. You don't need to go to an intermediary, you go to the supreme power himself, to the supreme court. So Sri Krishna explained to the Brajbasis that this is not good, we will worship Vishnu Swarup Govardhan. Sri Krishna of course is an expert in convincing, they all agreed and the day was decided with all the puja samagri and he told that we will offer bhog so the brajbasis to their hearts content they brought varieties of items and they reached giri govardhan so there they placed all the bhog and to vishnu swarup krishna swarup govardhan the bhog was offered indra he became annoyed. He said, who is this boy in Braj who has stopped my puja? He commissioned the biggest cloud in his armory, which was a cloud called Samvartak. And he said, go and inundate the whole of Braj. So Samvartak came there and Pralaya Karin Varsha started. The kind of rain you would expect at the end of the universe. Last year at the time of Hurricane Harvey, there was 50 inches of rain in 48 hours. That was some kind of a record. So imagine when Samvartak starts pouring down, it seems like the sky has burst. That kind of rain. Now the Brajbasi said, Krishna, what do we do? Krishna said, don't you worry. He took the Govardhan and he lifted it on the little finger of his left hand. Some people ask that why did he lift it on the little finger of his left hand? This is the weakest portion of the body. It is practically good for nothing. You can't do anything with this little finger. The Krishna is showing his disdain that I can lift this hill on this little finger of his left hand. He is showing his Aishwarya Shakti. Now we people see that Aishwarya Shakti, we become impressed. And we do Kirtan, Mero, Giridhari, Govardhan Dhari, Giri Govardhan Dhari, Bhagavan Ki. But the Sakhas, they did nothing of the sort. As far as the Sakhas was concerned, he is our friend. What Govardhan can he lift? In other words, they don't keep the Aishwarya of their friend in mind. They only keep that sentiment, he is our friend. And they applied their sticks. <clears throat> they are thinking we are the actual Giridhari, not him. So in that situation where Bhagavan is displaying his almightiness, the Sakhas are still not impressed. Their Sakya Bhav is so strong that they only think he is our Langoti Ayar. So Dhansuk, he said to Mansuk, Are look, Sridhava, Mansuk, Madhuvangal, such a serious matter. We have applied with our Lakuti all our strength to keep the hill up and this Karaya is only applying the little finger. He is not even showing to the people that he is trying hard. 
you see like when the rath yatra takes place a huge wheel has to be lifted or in the villages you know when that roof of the hut has to be lifted 30 people gather together to lift it in that 30 there are one or two lazy people they say who will know in the crowd just put your hand and say ho oh, ha ho oh, ha So if Krishna had applied his whole hand you would say he's trying to show the world here he's only applying his little finger Mansukh says let this matter get over we'll see to him they are now making plans to beat him up So Kripalu ji Maharaj says nakh dharyo govar dhan giri jab सखन कहो हम गिरिधारी देखो देखो री ग्वाल बालन यारी देखो देखो री दिस इज द ब्रज रस द ब्लिस ऑफ डिवाइन लव विट्स द लॉर्ड शावर्स ऑन दो स्टिवोटीज हुम ही हैज बिस्टोड द सीट दैट दे कैन सी हिम god as their friend around whom they put their arms so the whole day went by and the night also went by and the next day krishna is still like this now the sakhas realized that my my he is lifting not us so one sakha said kanaiya you must be tired do one thing now you transfer the hill to us we will lift it and somebody will press your hands even if you keep your hand up like this for 7 days how exhausting it will become so we will press your hands you just give the hill to us shri krishna said keep sitting uh, how to explain to them how will i transfer the hill to you the whole brach will get squashed so all this was going on radharani came close seeing radharani shri krishna got this ashta satvik bhav stam swed romanch you know in divine love when the mind goes into samadhi the body starts trembling so shri krishna started trembling and the hill started shaking balaram realized this is a critical situation he came between radha and krishna this is no place for love be serious on the work you are doing all the brajbasis were under the hill and they celebrated by dancing they were saved from that storm shri krishna lifted the govardhan for 7 days and 7 nights after 7 days indra realized his folly so he came on the white elephant the airavat and he got off he pulled the cloud off so krishna put the hill down by his sudarshan drisk he dried all the water indra came and fell in front of him and begged forgiveness maharaj i didn't realize who you were i thought you to be a little boy who can understand your divine pastimes valmiki ji maharaj se soi janai jehi dehu janai janat tum hi tum hi ve jai that person can understand god on whom god bestows his divine intellect by his grace and one who receives the grace becomes god like if somebody touches the wire of 110 volts you have 110 in your body so those who attain god become god like indra said maharaj i took you to be a little boy it was my biggest folly i forgot that my intellect is tiny and god is so big whenever we question the leelas of god why did god do this why did god do that we are forgetting 
the size of our intellect is so small and god is so infinite if we can understand one thing about him it is a blessing otherwise we should not be able to understand anything but when we surrender by surrendering we receive the grace so indra without surrendering he offended the lord and now he got humbleness that humbleness is the stepping stone to devotion he fell at the feet of krishna krishna forgave him however something else happened those brajabasis who used to think krishna is just one of us they saw the king of heaven coming and offering pranam most of the brajabasis were village people they were all village people but most of them were illiterate farmers a couple of them were scholarly and they recognized this is devaraj so they spread the news that the king of the celestial abodes came and offered pranam to kanhaiya so that means kanhaiya is god he is not like we thought we used to casually say kanwa eh kanwa and he is actually god so slowly that news started spreading you know what krishna is god and that news reached krishna's little friends you know what my mummy and papa were talking that krishna is god so you know what have you heard he is god those friends of his who used to play arm in arm they started looking at him fearfully he is god krishna saw that change in bhav and he started crying the sakha said what happened why are you crying did you sprain your arm if you keep your arm like this it will get sprained in 7 days no 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 people are looking at me in a bad way they are thinking i am god that earlier mamata mamatva he is mine whether he is my friend or my beloved or my child that is the brajras he is mine and the moment the aishwarya comes then you go back shanta akaram bhujakshana padmanabham shuresham that is not the brajras that is the aishwarya ras so krishna says that bliss has finished they are thinking i am god the sakhas they had a meeting they said what kind of god is he we defeat him in play our parents don't know anything he is just our langoti ayar again by yog maya krishna made them forget Are you ready to embark on a transformative spiritual journey? Join the Get Closer to God 21 Days Challenge on the Radha Krishna Bhakti app, guided by Swami Mukundananda. This 21 day challenge offers a deep dive into the three dimensions of spiritual growth: wisdom, sadhana, and seva. Gain timeless spiritual wisdom through daily lectures and teachings from Swamiji. discover the profound insights of the bhagavad gita and expand your understanding with the ancient knowledge experience the transformative power of sadhana with guided meditations by swami ji deepen your practice enhance concentration and find inner tranquility embrace the joy of seva through selfless service by engaging in community activities the radha krishna bhakti app offers a complete spiritual experience enjoy daily quotes soulful bhajans exclusive video content and a personalized ask swamiji chatbot 
It's your path to spiritual growth. Join the Get Closer to God 21 Days Challenge and take a step closer to your divine self. Available in Hindi and English. Download the Radha Krishna Bhakti app today. Gain life-changing wisdom, practice sadhana, and serve with love. Join us now.